What's going on everyone? Talon here with Talon Collects Figures and we are back with another Dragon Ball Super opening. Um, something a little different today. I actually picked up one of these Dragon Ball Super, uh, what are they called? Blaster boxes or something like that. They have these at Walmart and Target, I believe is what they said. I was not able to actually find this um, at Walmart or Target. I did buy this online. Uh, my Walmart said that they had them in stock, but they were nowhere to be found. So it was probably just a false uh, reading for their stock or whatever. But I still got this, I think, for a reasonable price. The retail price on these is $20. Uh, they come with a starter deck, five boosters, and one dash pack. And I got this for $30. So I spent $10 more, which... Again, wouldn't normally be advisable or a good deal, but with how the Dragon Ball prices have been skyrocketing, that's actually a decent pickup, I think, especially since I got lucky and I got the one with the Assault of the Saiyans on it. So that means there is going to be an Assault of the Saiyans booster pack in here. And that booster pack alone is selling for $30 to $50, depending on where you're looking. So just that booster pack pays for this. Um, which is good because I didn't know exactly what was in these. I thought these five booster packs were like completely random and maybe just randomly from up to this set number. So anything earlier than Assault of the Saiyans, I'd have a chance of getting. But I looked up a few of these on YouTube and saw a few other people opening this up and pretty much every single person got uh, two Colossal Warfare, I think it was, and two of the Miraculous Revival. So... That's pretty much what we're getting, or at least what I'm assuming that we're getting, which isn't too bad because right now, for some reason, the Colossal Warfare has jumped up in price. I think it's for that Ultra Instinct Goku has kind of gone up in price, so maybe a lot of people are chasing after that. So that could be the reason because I think those packs, for some odd reason, on TCG Player are selling for $13 a pack, which is very high, and a booster box is $100. Um, whereas at like the time of them packaging this, Colossal Warfare was like $30 for a whole booster box. So that's probably why they can get away with selling these for like a cheap price and still making money is they picked like the two cheapest boxes at the time, which was Colossal Warfare and Miraculous Revival because each of those were like $30 booster boxes. So that's probably how they could do this. And this box, look at this box. I like the artwork on this box. It's really cool actually. If I can find something to do with this box, I actually wouldn't mind keeping it just because I like the artwork. Um, but anyway, let's see if I get exactly what what I said that we're going to get that I saw all of the other people get from opening this up. So, all right. So we have our, in, <clears throat> our inserts right here, which are just like how to play the game. And then a play mat here for showing where you place all your cards down if you're going to be playing. And then let's see. So here is our pack and we have or our starter deck we have the piccolo jr one which uh from the videos that i've been seeing this is the most common uh one to get and i think this is the cheapest one as well but apparently there's the vegeta one or the gogeta one in here that's actually a decent one to pull and i think it's actually the most valuable one which again i think value is only like 10 bucks whereas this is like three bucks or something but um anyway we have a new starter deck because i don't have this one so I will take a look through it and see what it's got. And now let's see if we get the same packs. So we get, yep, there we go, Miraculous Revival. So we should get two of these. Yep. So it looks like they're going to be the same in every one. And then we've got, yep, Colossal Warfare and probably another Colossal Warfare. Yep. And then our Assault of the Saiyans. Oh, wait, we have, an <laughs> we have another one of these. Um, all right, well, we've got another leader area. Um, here we go. And yep, there's our Assault of the Sands, which again is the most valuable pack from this here and basically pays for the entire thing, which is nice. And we get what one, yeah, dash pack of sorts. We have a Series 5, so Miraculous Revival. Um, I haven't opened one of these yet. There's five different options. Curious to see what that is. And another freaking, oh, this is a rule set, I think. So two rule sets and two play mats. If you gave us two starter decks in here, that would make more sense. But there's like one starter deck in here. Um, all right. Anyway, so the most exciting one, of course, is going to be the Assault of the Saints. So we'll save that for last. And these are the next most valuable ones. So I guess those can go there and we'll open up the Miraculous Revival first. And I did just open up a booster box of Miraculous Revival and I got extremely lucky with that. I'm actually on kind of a hot streak for uh openings right now the best past two openings that i've done have been pretty insane 
So I guess we'll see if that luck continues, even though I kind of doubt it. And we only have five chances here, whereas the other openings, that was a whole booster box to get lucky. So not as many opportunities here, but there is still that special rare Shenron that I really, really want from this Miraculous Revival set. So I'd love to get that. Um, in terms of Colossal Warfare, I believe I have most of the cards I want from this. There's probably a few special rares that I'd like to get. I do actually have that Goku that's worth money from this set. I did pull that from the first booster box I opened of it. Um, besides that, any of course the secret rares, cause those are worth a lot. Those are two and I don't have either of them. So that would be pretty nice. Uh, for this, we're just looking for any of these signature rares, I guess. I mean, <laughs> tall order just, oh, I'm just looking for one of those signature rares or special rares, but I have, I think pretty much everything else I want from this pack. Cause I ended up ordering that special rare Kefla. So I don't need that anymore. I just ended up buying her cause I didn't pull her from all of the packs I have opened previously of this. And then for, oh, there's two secret rares. I'd say I already ordered the secret rare that I wanted and I got it right before the prices uh, skyrocketed. So I actually got it for a very good deal. Um, but anyway, that's probably enough waffling on there. Let's go ahead and open our first one here, which is just gonna be this dash pack. I don't know exactly what the five cards are in here since it doesn't, oh no, it does. Oh no, it doesn't list them because usually they list what the five options are on the back of the card. This one just says five rares. So let's see uh, what we get. I would like Miraculous Rival. There's a lot of Gogetas and Janembas in here. So either Gogeta or Janemba I'd actually be happy with because I do like both of them. <laughs> we got a Baba. That's actually not bad. I don't mind Baba. I have one Baba already that I have in my collection, but it's not a promo and it's just like a common foil or something like that that I really like. But now I have maybe a rare Baba that I can add to my collection. Not bad. I actually don't mind that. Baba's, uh, Baba's pretty cool. All right, so let's start with our first Miraculous Revival here. Again, I'm not expecting much from this opening because these are just randomly inserted packs. So we're not really guaranteed anything. So even pulling just a super rare might be a win here, even though, like I said, I mainly am just looking for special rares or better in terms of what I want to add to my collection. But hey, let, let's just see what we can get here. And we're starting off with a Baba. Look at that, you have a friend. Um, all right, so we have Baba, Oolong's Wish, uh, Childish Heart Janemba, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, uh, Dimension Magic, Key Barrier Trunks, Cell, Call of Justice, Sun Goku, North Kai, and oh, one more, Infernal um, Emperor Frieza. And for this set, I believe all of the rares are foil. So we should, yeah, because we do see a foil back there, but it's probably just a foil rare. Oh, we're actually starting with an SR. That's pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> again, I don't think there's any SRs that I really want from this set, but let's see what we get. Oh, we got a Janemba. I already have this Janemba, but I do like this Janemba. So it is a cool looking card. So. Not gonna complain about that. And hey, we pulled an SR from today's opening, which out of five random packs, I guess probably gonna be pretty good, but who knows? Maybe we actually get luckier and even pull a special rare. That would be uh, pretty amazing. So let's see what's in pack number two for our Miraculous Revival. We have a Frieza, Gotenks, uh, Shishami, Dimension Magic, Trunks, Pilaf Crew Leader, uh, Demon King Piccolo, Oob, Trunks, South Kai. Oh, not quite there yet. Uh, Call of Justice and behind it. Yeah, because the rares are foil. So, yep, regular rare of Pilaf. Uh, com was a combiner mech Pilaf machine. All right, so we have a regular rare Pilaf there. So, we'll just put him over there. And now, the Colossal Warfare. Again, I think that... Well, yeah, the two special uh, secret rares, of course, are worth money. But besides that, the only other money card, I think, from this set is that Ultra Instinct special rare Goku. Because there's a super rare version, but it's the special rare that's going for um, a lot of money. So if we pull either of those, then we definitely will be making some money here. But I'd like to pull one of the secret rares just for my collection, not necessarily to resell. So let's see what we get. Uh, Goten... Namekian Dual Purina. 
I don't know if I remember that in the Mechian. Uh, Super Saiyan, was that Gohan or Goku? That looked like Gohan for some reason. It looks like future Gohan slightly in that artwork there. Uh, all right, so we have Popo, Harutagon, Drum, Goku, Toa, Lord Slug, Poutine, Ectoplasm. Oh, we're getting another uh, super rare. I mean, we're getting super rares. That's pretty nice. But sadly, super rares didn't really shoot up in price like the like the other cards. It's basically all the special rares and all of the secret rares shot up in price with a very few, like a handful of super rares, but not many of them. Let's see who we get. Oh, we got this weird guy. Combo killer Aniza. Analiza, Analiza, Analiza. Like analyzing the target or something. Is that what that's supposed to be? Um, okay, I, what is he from? Oh, Universal, yeah, he was in the Tournament of Power. Oh, okay. Or he was in the, the tournament. I kind of remember him now. I mean, not bad. I've never pulled this card, so I guess it's something. I don't know if I necessarily want to add that to my collection. He's not a character that I really know very well, so not someone that I'm too fussed about, but hey. We got another super or a super rare, so that's ah, actually pretty nice. So two super rares out of three packs. Yeah, so we're on pack number four here, the last of our Colossal Warfare. Let's see if we can pull something nice from here. Um, Trunks, uh, Instant Transmission, Rudigan, Pan, Gohan, uh, Dende, Gohan again, Kakarot, Hidden Darkness, uh, Minosha, and then we have... It looks like maybe it's another super rare in terms of how shiny that is. Oh, no, just regular rare. Uh, what do we got? Oh, we got the leader card here for uh, Goku. What's that outfit that he's in? This one, he's in that blue gi or whatever. Oh, and we have Kid Goku there. Interesting. Um, I don't know if I already have this leader card or not. I'll put this in a sleeve just because I collect uh, leader cards, and I don't think I've pulled this leader card I find it hard to believe, though, because I did open a full booster box of this set, so I must have pulled this. But anyway, now we're on to the main pack here that can have something pretty nice for us, which would be a, of course, signature rare. Four of those in here. Any of those are going to be worth a great deal of money. Um, and the secret rares. Besides that, I don't think any of the special rares in this set shot up in price or any of the super rares. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty much signature rare or secret rare in terms of value or bust. Um, in terms of my collection, I don't remember if there, actually no, there was a, oh no, that's a special rare. I want the special rare um, Vegito. There's a special rare Vegito in this set that I believe I want still. So let's see what we pull. Uh, Fusamasu, Broly, Goku, <laughs> Double Sunday, uh, Coco's Grandpa, Krillin, Vados, Trunks, Time skip hit, Goku, uh, Gohan, and our final hit of this opening. Hopefully we're ending with something better than a rare, but it's definitely not a signature rare. Oh, it's just a regular rare. And it is Vegeta. I think I've pulled plenty of these Vegetas here. Same Bloodline Vegeta, so that's what we're ending with. But overall, I mean, that wasn't bad. We got two super rares from these uh, random packs, so can't really complain about that. Um, did we make our money back? No, we didn't. Um, could I have made my money back? Of course, if I just sold that Assault of the Saiyans pack still sealed, then yes, I would have made my money back. Uh, but I wanted to open it just in case we happen to pull something nice. And um, yeah, I was kind of curious to see what this you know, box here uh, would have for us. It's not bad, like I said, mainly just because the prices have gone up so much for Dragon Ball Super content, so if, or, or cards. So if you can find this box, especially at retail for 20 bucks, it's definitely worth it. Um, for the $30 I spent, if you found this particular one with the Assault of the Saiyans, then yes, it's worth it. But the have or but they have two other versions of this box here. One that just has the malicious machinations in it, which those booster packs are only worth like eight bucks, so you wouldn't really uh, be getting a high value pack there. And then the other one, I believe, is just one that doesn't have anything on here. It's just, I guess, maybe the original packaging. And that one has Union Force in it, which Union Force does have good pulls in it but the union force packs are still 
only like seven or eight bucks as well to just buy at least at the time of this recording so keep that in mind prices have been going all over the place for uh, booster packs sealed product and all of that so who knows what it might be at by the time you're actually watching this and even these right here if you try to buy these like sealed on like ebay from another second secondhand seller they're selling these things for like 50 or 60 bucks with the highest one i've seen actually sell for 70 so that's pretty insane i mean i bought it for 30 so I, i'm happy with that compared to the other prices i've been seeing so we'll see if i can get my hands on another one of these for uh for 30 bucks again i'm not really going to spend more than 30 bucks to try to gamble on one of these but i figure this is a nice little uh cheaper thing to buy for a video here because again this sealed product has gone up so much in price that just buying booster boxes now is quite expensive so i'm just looking for anything i can find for a reasonable price now or close to retail price at least and uh yeah anyway hopefully you enjoyed the video let me know what you think about this uh kind of walmart uh mystery box kind of thing if you've opened them up before let me know if you got lucky with any of your pulls um but for now i'm pretty happy with it we'll see if i pick up another one and if i'm happy with that one so hopefully you enjoyed and of course i will catch you in the next one